This is the Japanese setup at the beginning of uh, Global 1940 BBR rules. Um, to note a couple of changes to the Japanese um, map. In Japan, in C-Zone 6, they've actually carved out another C-Zone, they call it C-Zone 6A, which is up here at the top. And they've also carved out another territory that the top chunk of Japan is now called Hokkaido and it's worth one. And so the rest of the island of Japan, which used to be worth eight, is now worth seven. Uh, so in terms of forces, uh, in Japan proper, there are, I think it's five or six, six infantry, uh, two artillery, uh, one tank, three anti-aircraft artillery, uh, two fighters, two tactical bombers, and two strategic bombers. In the C-Zone 6 outside of Japan, there are two fully loaded carriers with a fighter and a tactical bomber on each. There's a battleship, a destroyer, or sorry, a cruiser, two destroyers, and a submarine. In Iwo Jima, there's an individual infantry. In Okinawa, there's an infantry and a fighter. And Okinawa, by the way, now has uh, an airbase. Uh, that's a new thing for the uh, for the BBR rules. Uh, in C-Zone 19, there is a battleship, a destroyer, and a submarine. In C-Zone 20, there's a destroyer. In Formosa, there's a fighter. Down here, in the Caroline Islands, there is an anti-aircraft artillery and two infantry. In the C-Zone surrounding it, C-Zone 33, there is a destroyer and a fully loaded carrier with a fighter and a tactical bomber. Uh, starting down here on the mainland, in Siam, there are two infantry. In Kuang Si, there are three infantry and an artillery. In Kiang Si, there are three infantry and an artillery. In Kiang Su, there are three infantry and artillery, a fighter and a tactical bomber. In Shantung, there are three infantry and an artillery. In Jehol, there are two infantry and an artillery. And in Manchuria, there are six infantry, one artillery, one... Um, mechanized infantry, one anti-aircraft artillery, two fighters, and two tactical bombers. In Korea, there are four infantry and one artillery. Uh, I think that's all the forces on the board. Uh, now, in terms of national objectives for the Japanese, uh, they get three IPCs for any of the following um, American... Uh, or British islands that they can take. Uh, they get three IPCs for Guam. They get three IPCs for Midway. We'll, we'll adjust this a little bit so we can see the rest of the Pacific. They get three IPCs for Midway. They get three IPCs for Wake. They get three IPCs for the Gilbert Islands. They get three IPCs for the Solomon Islands, which are uh, Anzac controlled. Um, they get three IPCs for the Johnston Islands, and three IPCs up there in the North Pacific if they can take over the Aleutian Islands. Um, they also get five IPCs for any of the major cities that they can take. Calcutta, which is a capital, uh, sort of. It's a little bit different in BBR that the, the British income is not quite split in the same way. Uh, they get five IPCs for Sydney, they get five IPCs for Honolulu, and they get five IPCs for San Francisco. They also get five IPCs if they manage to control the four money islands, Sumatra, Java, Borneo, and the Celebes. Uh, note, by the way, that the Celebes has an airbase in, um, in uh, BBR. Okay. Uh, they get ten IPCs if they... Um, control all of the Chinese territories on the board. Okay, so that's everything here, plus all the stuff on the coast, which is technically originally Chinese. Uh, they get five IPCs for controlling Burma. They get ten IPCs as long as they are not at war with the United States. So the second they declare war on the United States, they lose that ten IPC bonus. Uh, and they get a one-time payment of 10 IPCs if they capture Calcutta. Uh, that's instead of the capital funds, because again, England's income is not quite split in the same way. Uh, now, something else to notice. Uh, you probably noticed down here, 
uh, in the Money Islands and then also in Dutch New Guinea, there's these little oil cans. Uh, that is a victory objective. There are 10 oil countries on the board. Uh, and if the Axis has four of them, that's a victory um, point. And if they have seven of them, that's two victory points. So again, the islands are Sumatra, Java, Borneo, Celebes, and Dutch New Guinea. Uh, the other five uh, oil producing territories are over here, okay, uh, where you would expect them to be, okay, uh, in the Mideast with Saudi Arabia, Persia, and Iraq. Uh, and then in the Caucasus, and then up as well in Romania. I think that's supposed to be what's called the Baku oil field uh, in Romania. Um, so that's Japan. Uh, I will once again take the camera off the tripod and give a, a nice uh, detailed look on them. Oh, I forgot. I think I missed a unit here. There's a Japanese guy on Palau as well. So I'll just have a look um, at the Japanese disposition of forces in detail so you can have a really nice look at the map here see what you're dealing with I'll come down the coast in the sea zones and then of course uh, Iwo and the big big stack in Japan okay that's Japan's uh, initial setup in the game.